Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install CatchUI's desktop Linux latest version on VirtualBox. In this video we are going to download the latest version released in July 2025. Okay, first go to CatchUI's official website that is catchUI's.org. Hit enter. Then click on download or download, both are same. Then see here we have the desktop edition and handheld edition. Okay, so in this video we are going to download and install desktop edition. Click on download desktop edition then see here we have the direct method source forge magnetic store torrent options okay i'm going to download by using torrent click on it wait a moment see download started go to download see here it's a size is about 2.8 gigabytes i'm cancelling this one because i have already downloaded see i have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open virtual box if you want to install virtual box on your machine then, then search for my youtube channel how to in install VirtualBox and Windows are Linux operating systems. Now click on New, R, Machine and Select New. Both are same. Then provide the name. I am giving Catchy OS July 2025 VMO. Then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. So this is the default location. If you want some other location, then select location. Then here you have the enough space. Select the folder, then select the downloaded ISV. Select other, then see here I have the downloaded CatchOS desktop Linux 2025 July edition. Click on it, then select the Linux, type as Linux and subtype as Arch Linux. Okay, then go to hardware memory. I am giving 4 gigabytes, number of CPU cores to hard disk by default it has selected very less so i'm giving 50 gigabytes 50 gigabytes then click on finish still if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine right click on it and select settings or go to settings or machine and select settings all three options are same then if you're okay with all the settings then click on start okay. use up and down arrows and select the first one that is catchy os default and hit enter cursor is grayed out just press Alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor. Now click on this desktop. Then see here we have the Plasma VLAN and Plasma X11. Select any one of them and hit end. If you want to use this for testing purpose, close this pop up and you can test and you can shut down. But to install permanently, click on this launch installer. Click on it. Then see here. Choose the bootloader or edition. So I am going to select grub and click on grub. Select the language from this list and click on next. Select your time zone. Select the zone from this globe or you can select the region from this one and zone. Okay. Both are same. Then click on next. Keyboard model. I am going with the defaults. Then this is the fresh station. So I am selecting erase disk and click on next. Then we have to choose the desktop type. See, by default, it has selected plasma desktop. You want genome, you have to select. See, based on this selection, see the duration will change. Okay, so whatever you want, you can select. I'm going with plasma desktop. See, this is the look and feel of the these desktops. If you go to genome, see, this is a bit different. Okay, so I'm going with plasma desktop. Then click on next step. Now see we have to select the additional packages. See here we have these additional packages, KD desktop and catch your packages. Okay, whatever you want, you can select. Then click on next. Now we have to create our setup user. I'm giving username as R2 schools. This is a username, everyone is user full name. Then this is the computer name or host name. Then provide the password or set the password for the above user. And use the same password for the administrator account okay then click on next ready to install see this is the installation summary if you are okay with all the settings then click on install now confirmation click on install now see installation has been started this will take time i'm going to pause this video at the end it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps in the meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials see installation is completed now click on now select the checkbox that is restart now and go to here see here optical drive is 
not empty. So click on it and remove that from the virtual drive. Then click on force on mount. Then go to here and click on done to restart. If it is not restarted, then go to virtual box, right click on it, reset, then click on reset. See now it is reporting. Now see here before we are having desktop options. Now it is gone. Now provide the password. Hit enter. See before we are having install option. Okay. Now it is not there. And every time you will get this pop up. If you don't want this pop up after start, just turn off and close it. Now open console. It is K O N C O L E. Click on it. See, we got the information. See, this is the virtual box. See, host is virtual box. Voice information, kernel and other options. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Catchy Voice latest version on virtual box. Okay. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.